haul time. Hello everyone, it is Ivory Public Studs, and today we have a $300 LEGO Star Wars March 2022 haul. Now some of these sets I did get early, uh, so actually it's probably more like a $400 haul. Uh, but either way, we're going to get right on into it. Uh, but first, if you like LEGO Star Wars, smash that subscribe button. And while you're down there, hit that like button. I like to get 500 likes. So every press of that button would mean the world, and we're going to get right on into it. Starting off, ones I got earlier, I did get a Dark Trooper set earlier, and I was thinking, you know, I would buy another one, but I've spent so much money, and quite frankly, between all these sets, it's just been a lot. So I'm going to wait a little bit to get more of these, but I do strongly intend on getting at least 10 minimum. I know I'm going to wait for them to go on sale and that sort of stuff, uh, just because, you know, I don't want to spend money frivolously. Either way, very cool set. Already have it built. Reviews up on the channel. And by the way, I will be leaving affiliate links up for everything in here in this video. So, uh, you know, if you want to buy any of these, it'll help out the channel a ton. They'll all be from Amazon. So, yeah, check that out. And we also got the biggest deal of this wave. Uh, Jabba's Palace, or Boba's Throne Room, rather. This is a throne room, not the palace. Granted, it does have a little bit of the exterior. That's not what you're buying this for. Either way, I've seen this one. Very cool. I intend on buying a second one specifically because I've seen there's this guy on Instagram has made a fantastic addition with a Rancor pit and he's rounded off the roof and everything just with two Jabba's palaces. It's it's insane. So I'm going to be getting a second one of those, uh, so, so, which is very exciting for me personally. Uh, and you know, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty nice set. I actually really really like it. Um, I like this set a lot. I think they did a good job other than the roof here and this one gap here. It's a great set. I think they did spend over the price limit. They did give me a free promo set. This was a ice skating rink, I guess. I have one of these sealed, so I might open this one uh, come the winter months. You know, it's, we're getting out of winter now, so this is kind of less exciting. It's obviously more of a Christmas-based set, but it does come with some cool little sweaters. I, I just kind of like it. It's, it's a neat one, and you spend 150 bucks or more, you get this. So that's very cool. And we also did get some of these boys. Every time I go to the Lego store now, I'm just going to be stocking up on these uh, since they only sell them. They're clone packs, of course. I got two of them. The limit is three. I didn't want to take too many. I already have, I think this is my 10th uh, and 11th. So that's very exciting to have uh, right there. So I'll put those two there. Uh, now, here are the big deals that cost me a ton of money, and I'm not the hugest fan of some of them, uh, but let's take a look at them. First off, we have the Mandalorian, who I think looks a little, you know, bubbly. Like, I don't know how to describe it. He just looks very thick, especially in the helmet area. Uh, but yeah, either way, I got him, uh, obviously, new, available on Amazon, too. So if you don't have a Lego store, check that out. They have faster shipping. The one that I hate the most, this one, Dark Trooper. It's an awful set. And, you know, borderline, I wasn't going to get it, but I needed to do a video on it. So, yeah, there's that. And then Luke's Helmet, which I actually really like. I've come around on I like Luke's Helmet. Uh, it, it's a, it's a good-looking set. Now, the problem with helmet sets, broadly, is they're just expensive. They don't always feel like they're worth, let's say, 60 to $70 prices that they cost. I mean, granted, this one's 584 pieces, but they're all not, like, gigantic pieces. And you're getting no figures. So I wish with the helmet sets they just put one really exclusive, highly printed figure in each of them. That would make them each way instantly worth more buying. And I, I think that's an improvement, I suggest, to Lego. And I know adult collectors, oh, they don't like many figures. Yes, they do. I have yet to meet an adult collector who doesn't like the figures nearly just as much as the builds. Like, obviously, they're not as important as the builds to a lot of people, but but they're still cool to have figures. So they should have included figures, even though they're not particularly rare ones. But either way, between this haul, I mean, it was, it was very expensive. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy that I was able to get out all those reviews earlier. Reviews on these. Now, this is my question for you. Would you guys like to see one just overall review video for all of these? Or do you like to see individual review videos for each set? Because I think I might just do an overall review for all of these uh, helmet sets, just because, you know, I know people aren't like huge, huge in it. So I want to hear that down below. I will also be live streaming the build process of these later. So stay tuned for that. With that said, I'll see you all in the next one. Remember, peace out and stay awesome.